after swarming you. You see the Marines are backed up there, trying to use the natural choke points of their own base to defend themselves. And it looks like the Terran player is going to send some forces back, but there are no ghosts on that dropship. Instead, the ghosts have finished off that Zerg expansion. They're now moving to try to defend their own base. And they are rapidly moving to the center of the map, just trying to get away from those Brulings the best they can. We have those Zerglings absolutely overwhelming the Terran base. We see how quickly that bunker just goes down, and they move in. We see a ton of infested Terran getting launched into the back of the Terran base, and they are dealing an enormous amount of damage. The Terran has placed one barracks moving around the map. He's got five ghosts there on the move. He's got one supply depot hidden behind his line here, but the rest of it is all going down. The Zerg is just trashing the whole place. There was, it looks like, a Banshee in the air, but it's been taken down by the Corruptors. There's a bunch of infested Terrans. There's Zerglings swarming across the Terran base. This is Zerg payback, and they're just destroying this entire Terran base as fast as they possibly can. They're making a push, and it's not looking good for the Terran player at all. We have more infested Terrans getting laid down across the map. Now those ghosts are cloaked, and they're moving and trying to deal the best damage that they can, but there is no detector around, so the Zerg player is taking tons of damage to his assault force. Yeah, he's just not caring right now. He just wants to finish off that Terran base. You see, he's just focused completely on those buildings. The heck with whatever the ghosts are doing. Let him shoot. We're just going to trash this place and then move on. You can see the ghosts are doing some damage, but it's not fast enough. It looks like the Terran base has been largely destroyed. That last ghost academy there.